DX Stampin' Sharon. I have some fun things to share with you today. We're gonna take some Christmas stuff and we're not gonna make Christmas cards. You're gonna love this. If you're new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. I invite you to hit the subscribe button below and then hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video or I do a YouTube live. If you love these ideas, I would appreciate a thumbs up. As always, I enjoy reading your comments. And why don't you share it with a crafty friend if you think they would like it. Let me show you what I've got up my sleeve. So the stamp set that I wanted to share with you today is the Tidings All Around. And it has dies that match and will cut out your wreath. But Christmas cards, by now, you're probably pretty much done. So let's talk about after Christmas. Let's talk about how we can still use this and the dies. So there's the stamp set, and then here are the dies. And I pulled in Healing Hugs. I wanted to make some Get Well cards, and I wanted something bright and cheery and I've made several, so I'm going to make one with you now, and then I'll show you the other two that I made. And my, my mind is just reeling with what, how to give additional life to a Christmas bundle. I am going to be pulling in Detailed Deer dies because I needed some little flowers. And there's three of them, so it made my wreath really quick to make. I have a piece of um, Call Me Clover. And I wanted to point out on the stamp set itself, there's a little arrow. So I have that going towards the top. This is a big stamp, so I wanna go ahead and ink it up this way. Do you see the little arrow for the uh, framelit? Perfect. You're just gonna place it right over there and cut it out. So I'm going to take the sticks and the leaves and I'm going to be cutting out using my scraps from my square that I had before. I have cut out a layer, of a piece of Whisper Watt with my favorite stitch rectangle frame. Sorry, I use those like all the time. And my sentiment, I'm stamping in Call Me Clover. And my stamp set is still the old um, clear mount, so I, that's why there's no label on my stamp. So I've taken a piece of Whisper White that is four inches by five and a quarter, and I use the layered 3D leaves. And then I have a uh, card base that is also Whisper White, but this is the thick. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Whenever I add an emboss layer, I always like to use liquid glue. We're gonna pop up our sentiment layer with dimensionals. It's kind of a long strip there, so we're gonna use three. We're also going to pop up the wreath. Now on my other cards, I didn't pop them all up. So you'll see the difference and you'll see why. One of them, I couldn't have used dimensionals if I'd have tried. <laughs> you know, the new mini catalog is coming out starting in January, January 3rd, with all kinds of fun goodies. And it also is the time that celebration starts. And celebration is the time of year with Stampin' Up that if you, for every $50 you spend, you get to pick something free out of a little catalog called the Celebration Catalog. Okay, so I have all kinds of bits and pieces here. I'm gonna pull in my paper piercing mat. And I'm sure that you can't see, but I cut out the flowers and then I used the Subtle embossing folder. And I'm gonna use my stylus from my um, 
Simply Scored tool. And I just want to take, I'm using the fat ball end, and I'm just gonna like pop them up a little bit. They're pretty little, but they fit with this wreath perfectly. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my silicone mat. And then we're gonna start building. I've got some sticks cut out with um, soft suede. I'm using pineapple punch cardstock. And I'm also using lovely lipstick and grapefruit grove. And then I'm going to add some leaves. And the fun thing is I love to make wreaths for my door and my home. So what I thought was so fun about this is like, it's just like the wreaths for my doors, but it's a card. And if you decide that it's too, too long for where you want to put it, you just take your snips and trim them off. We're just going to put all kinds of sticks on this one. It's almost like, okay, how much more do I need to do? <laughs> But it's just so fun to just kind of keep adding them. Well, let's see, let's do it down here. And then I want another green leaf. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some pearls. So this one is more maybe for the springtime, perhaps. It could be any time of the year, but I have one that I purposely did like for in the summertime and one for in the fall. I mean, this truly will carry you all year long. And the only stamp that I used out of the Christmas stamp set was the wreath itself. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our bow, and this ribbon is called is Lovely Lipstick. I'm just gonna put a bow on the top. There you go. It's got lots of texture, lots of dimensions, super fun. All right, let me show you the other ones. So remember on this one, I embossed just a piece of Whisper Watt, but on this one, I used the gingham and on this one, I cut out the leaves. See how they're different? I was trying to stamp on there and cut it out. Mm, it's a hot mess. So, but on this one, I used a gorgeous grape, uh, daffodil delight, and um, melon mambo. And I just think it turned out so cute. And then here's one for the fall. Again, using darker colors and everything. Um, the designer series paper is from pressed petals 
and then I just used pumpkin pie, cherry cobbler, and crushed curry. I hope that I have inspired you to extend the life of your Christmas stamp set. If you've not already purchased it, you can head to my store in the description box below and you have three ideas after the Christmas season. Happy stamping, y'all!